we now are going to listen. The most interesting part of this video is that I found it uh, in the internet as, uh, let's say, some instructions, yes, how to speak on the radio. But the thing is, and you will now understand that this is not really good video. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Port service. This is Motor Vessel Korea, channel 1 2, over. Motor Vessel Korea, this is Port Service. Go ahead, over. Port service. My ETD is 2000 hours local time, over. Korea, what is your maximum database breath? Uh, question to you guys. Uh, as I uh, see, uh, it seems to be that everything is more or less understandable. It's correct, yeah. So, uh, what is they they said now? What is ETD? Twenty zero zero. No, I mean, I mean, what does it mean? Uh, ETD. Yeah. Uh, Estimated time of departure. It's estimated time established, time arrival. What? Vladislav. <laughs> so, Vladimir, you absolutely right. It's estimated time of departure. So, uh, we understand now from this is that the vessel is first. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so that this woman is asking something. Let's listen to what she wants. Zero, zero hours local time. Over. Korea, what is your maximum deepest breath and destination? Over. So, uh, who could tell me what she what she just uh, asked? Come on, guys. It looks like she asked about draft and the destination. Yeah, but uh, there is one more word. Uh, and she asked about deepest draft. Deepest draft. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is here is that uh, when we say about our draft, it could be understand that uh, this could be like, let's say, uh, draft in the middle or something like this. But the thing is, it's they ask us about the deepest draft. And so we go on. Service. My maximum deepest draft is eight meters, and my destination is Singapore. Over. Korea, are you trimmed by the head or stern? Over. Uh, here is a question to you guys. What she ask? Leaf, uh, stern or head? Uh, leaf. What is leaf? Leaf. Uh, uh, he, um, yes, <laughs> it's absolutely. So she said, "Are you trimmed?" Uh, and when she said "trimmed," it seems that she eat uh, shrimps because uh, it was so much uh, like chewing or something. I don't know. But anyway, yes, she asked, "Are you trimmed uh, on the stern or on the bow?" How do you think? Why she asked this one? Why? Why it's important to ask this question? Anyone? Your opinions? I I could only see a silence. For squats? Um, no yeah. idea. <laughs> no idea. Uh, so the thing is, when uh, she just wants to be sure that we understand what is deepest draft. Uh, so when she asked, uh, are we trimmed on the stern or on the bow? So she will understand that the deepest draft is on the bow or on the stern. So that's why she, uh, she, she asked about this one. Uh, just to understand how, what is the position of the vessel. And uh, also for your information, it's not allowed for the vessel to leave in more uh, I, I don't say that in all ports, but 
in in most ports I've been, it's not allowed to leave the port with a trim on the bow. So, uh, port service. I am trimmed one point five meters by the stern. Over. Okay, so they have uh, one point five meters on the stern. It's 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 interesting. Korea, do you have any list? Over. And uh, what now? She asked. Uh, I will ask. Yeah. A list. Do you have any list? Yes, she asked about list. And uh, why do you think it's also important one? Why why this information need to be also uh, understood? Any idea, I guess, yeah? <laughs> so I will explain. Uh, the thing is, uh, when, you, when you check your drafts, normally you check this from the shore side, uh, especially when we talk about uh, the stern, yeah? And the bow also, because uh, it's uh, mostly, it's, it's really difficult to check drafts from the other side. You could only check the middle draft so that you could use this for draft survey. But the thing is, on, on the stern and on the bow, it's quite difficult. So that's why we ask about there is no any list, because if, if it's any list, it means on one side you see one draft, on another side it will be much more deeper draft. So that's why she asked about list. And also, it's not allowed to have uh, like a huge uh, list, like uh, even half degree is uh, too much for the list of vessel to uh, to uh, depart the port. But it's like it's it's not strict, uh, and so we will see. Port that. service. I have a list to port of one degree over. Korea, is it safe to navigate over? So. Yeah, as you see, those guys have a list of even one degree, even not to uh, half degree. Yeah, it's a one degree on the port side, and so that means uh, it it could be not really safe. That's why she asked, "Is it safe for navigation?" And uh, here is a little advice to you: when that kind of question. Uh, are asked it means they literally ask a captain not you so if you answer yes it's okay it means that captain is okay with this even captain never heard this question but this question were answered like this it still means that that was on the master response okay so uh let's see Port service. It is safe to navigate. Over. Okay. Korea, your message is understood. Stand by channel one six and one two. Over. Stand by channel one six and one two. Out. Uh, one more thing. This guy say out in the end of the uh, conversation, but the thing is, it's better to say over and out because uh, you, you when you say over, it means that you like. Like you copy and you you finish your message, but you say when you say over and out, it means that you finish the conversation. Uh, and so also she said to stand by the channel one six and uh, one two. So it means we need to stand by these channels. It's okay. I guess you all know about this stuff. So here we have a departure report. Port service. This is Motor Vessel Korea, channel 1, 2, over. Motor Vessel Korea, this is Port Service. Go ahead, over. Port Service, pilot on board at 2100 hours local time, and you left the berth at 2120 hours local time, over. Uh, question to you guys what he just said. So, uh, as we understand that a pilot on board, but what was the second part of his speech? Um, let's say, uh, 
Oh, Denis Shevchenko also here. <laughs> uh, Andrei uh, Bolshakov, how do you think? What what uh, he said after this pilot on board thing? Uh, if I'm correct, uh, he told about the the time the pilot had uh, has arrived yeah. on board. Yes, and uh, on, and also what he said next, that was pilot on board, and then something chewing thing. Um, I don't know. Come again, please. Can you please okay. repeat the video? Yeah. Let's say. As a free, this is port service. Go ahead. Over. Port service. Pilot on board at two one zero zero hours local time. And you left the bird at two one two zero hours local time. So what you heard now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Now this is not pilot of time. Uh, Vladimir, you not correct here. He said, and we left the birds at, and he said about time. But the thing is, first. Uh, I could say you what is the mistake I could barely hear uh, hear first he never say about answer, answer or information or whatever markers we need to use he don't use them uh, uh, by the way this girl also not use any but okay other things uh, when we say about lefting the birds it's actually need to be said that we are on the way. So he said, pilot on board time and vessel on the way time or vessel cast off time. But not we left the birds. It's like, it's more, uh, uh, let's say it's something from an usual life. It's not the maritime style of speaking. Okay. So here is a really, uh, that's why you don't understand what he say. And that's why it could be uh, uh, misunderstood by any other authorities. Okay. Korea, are you a land and voyage or a ballast voyage? Over. What she asked now, I could I could give you a chance to 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 listen this one one more time because uh, we heard some noise from uh, from the from the guys. Yeah, she she definitely asked about voyage, but uh, what kind of voyage and what. Uh, any other question you any other part of this question ballast or yeah and ballast or something yeah so uh the thing is she asked uh, are you laden or in ballast yeah so we say uh, let's 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 check this one one more time with understanding that she said laden yeah uh which means loaded condition okay uh let's see this is port service. Go ahead, over. Port service. Pilot on board at two one zero zero hours local time, and you left the berth at two one two zero hours local time. Over. Korea, are you a land and voyage or a ballast voyage? Over. So now you heard it, yeah? Are you a land and uh, voyage or in ballast voyage. I guess in India, maybe they also could ask you something like this uh, because it's really sounds like Indian style question. Anyway, uh, as you see, she also, again, not using the markers, like she not say question, uh, oh, but by the way, no, maybe she, she used because I, I actually mi misheard this, but it seems like she used. Anyway, uh, it's better to ask not in Latin because Latin is not more common word to say. Uh, it's better to say in loaded or ballast condition. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Uh, anyway, here is a question. She, that what she Port asked. service. I am on ballast voyage. Over. Yeah. Korea, your message understood. Stand by channel one six and one two until leaving the fairway. Over. Yeah, and now she said that we need to stand by this channel until leaving the channel. Okay, let's go on. 
Court service. I will stand by channel one six and one two. Out.